Hey there, Rulers, GMO73 here, bringing you the deck profile for the Blue and Black Solaria list. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to pre-order upcoming Force of Will sets, ccgprime.com for singles and supplies, cardodoco.com for those rulers in the international market looking for product, the Ruler School Circuit Series now offering our 2024 Quarter 1 Circuit Kits, and our guest lecturer members, Bite Ramen. Class is in session. So here you have it, here is the list. As always, if you haven't already gotten signed up for our February 10th and 11th Circuit Series event over on the Ruler School Discord, you should check out the link in the description. We hope to see you there. Uh, so this is Solaria, AKA we're gonna chuck a bunch of dragons at you using a lot of token generation and all kinds of crazy cool stuff with the awesome um, Solara stations uh, to do some pretty neat stuff. One thing you didn't see in the feature match is that I just didn't have Return of Judgment, and I absolutely should, just to get that absolute extra value because you are performing Judgment, so just kind of keep that in mind. Um, if you ever wanted to have a bunch of J Rulers all at once, this is the deck to do it. Uh, this deck is all about kind of recycling your stuff and getting your stuff rfg to be able to pay for things quickly. Uh, we're playing pretty much every single one of the Solarias. Usually you want to try to open up with a Wind. It is kind of the best one and then you can kind of do some cool recycling with the rest of them. One thing to note is that with Solaria's Light, if they go to destroy one of your Solaria's, you use Solaria's Light and you make it so anything sent to the graveyard gets RFG'd instead, then you can use another Solaria's to then buy back the Solaria's that got destroyed because it'll go to the RFG and you can use, uh, because of Solaria's ability to make all the gears have every attribute, you can just have it work so that you get to buy back the one that you needed. Um, so you can kind of just infinitely have these and these are kind of your main engine ramp pieces to help you kind of get from there this is a blue black version um, you can play a lot more aggressive this one really relies mostly kind of its most consistent aggression is the niklaus corollas with um being able to do the um Plur to Patale to be able to make them into the uh, 1000 1000 flying um at resonators which is kind of huge as you see it gets pretty aggressive um, we're also playing some of the reincarnation stuff because it also has to generate tokens i like this version a lot because it minimizes the number of different removal options your opponent has until you're ready to go in for lethal because they just sit on the board as additions until you actually animate them and at that point in time niklaus is thankfully something with barrier so it's kind of hard for them to remove them um, playing some cascades and some solarization guards just to kind of again help with recycling um, and then playing some solarized gears so we have, again, some early progression and some buyback opportunities. A little mini darkness engine just because I did not want to have to just hard lose to dark tree. Um, it's just not something I wanted to deal with. So a little bit of a life loss loop. And then the little mini engine that I think you can honestly put into any Solaria's list, which is excavation and Electra's training. You can use ele excavation to just essentially ramp a bunch, find Electra's training, cast Electra's training, and then make it so all these dragons are going to flip quickly. It puts a lot of good aggression into the things uh, and just really puts you in a position where you just kind of throw a bunch of dragons at him and judgment can't be canceled and J rulers in general like when there's that many of them that have so many good enter effects you just kind of flood your opponent and then they die and it's very interesting um, we are playing um, a couple copies of liberation of waters so we are playing a flute and a falchion in the sideboard this is mainly so that we get extra card draw and we have a guy who can just be calling stone which sets us up interestingly enough to be able to judgment solaria if we wanted to not that we ever will but it is an option in the back foot it there. One thing to note as well with Electra's training is that suddenly these J Ruler tokens that get potentially reanimated uh, have swiftness. So if you try to make the token during the recovery phase, it then will recover and be able to swing, which is pretty devastating sometimes as well. So if you like J Rulers, this is definitely the deck for you. Hope you guys like it. There's definitely a lot of different ways to play Solaria, but if you have some ideas, we'd love to hear them in the comment sections down below. And until next time, this is DMO73 saying class dismissed.